3.1 billion dollars. That sort of money could buy you several exotic fish or the town of Greg Greg in New South Wales. Probably. If you're the entire population of Australia though, you could lose all that cash to scammers, which is exactly what's happened over the past year. It's a scary amount of money to just wave goodbye to, and it's around $1.1 billion more than 2021. But the reality is that scams are getting more crafty, harder to spot, and more common, which is catching a lot of people out, including young people. We are seeing more scams in general, and we're also seeing more scams being reported by young people. In 2021, 18% of scams that were being reported to our Scam Watch service were from people under 18. Fast forward to now, that's 27%. I've gotten lots of um, like text message scams, calls. Really annoying, but the text message scams, crazy, and they're getting more uh, like elaborate every single time. Facebook scammers, TikTok has scams, all like these platforms of social media that us teenagers go on. You'll get a message saying you've been involved in this or click this link because yeah. you've been mentioned in something and I think a lot of people are falling for that one. There's also this Instagram one going around. It'll be a new account. It'll say, yeah, I got hacked on my old account, it's a new account. The scam was they wanted me to enter my email and my login for them to access their account. <laughs> and I said, that's a bit, that's a bit devious, is it? The most common and, and frankly most damaging scam that we're seeing uh, is in relation to uh, photos being exchanged, so via a relationship scam. Uh, and we're seeing those uh, scams arise across a range of platforms, and even through the chat function in some online games. Online shopping is a massive one. You'll see a lot of people just selling fake stuff and there's no real way to verify it. The ones that say part-time jobs, like this much money on messages, I think that's pretty convincing to some people. I think the younger populations are also more susceptible because I have two younger brothers and they love the game Fortnite. They were asking me to pay for something and he was like, it's, it's, it's free Reeboks if you just put your uh, account details in. Luckily I was there, if I wasn't there, it could have been a different story. According to the ACCC and Scam Watch, in 2022, Aussie kids up to 18 years old lost $361,976 to scams. And already uh, in 2023, we've had losses reported of $337,000, so almost the same amount. But all of these numbers are only the stats from reported cases, so the figures could actually be much higher. On some games I've been scammed and through messages I've been scammed. Tapping a link hacks your phone, viruses, all of this. One of my friends did get money taken out of her bank account by clicking one of the links, yeah. I ordered some items for delivery by Australia Post. I get a link that says, yeah, yeah, track your delivery here. I'm about to click it and I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, why is this from a random phone number? <laughs> so, so I caught myself at the last moment. I think nearly because on Instagram there's like a bunch of like accounts that like follow you and then like try to get you to click a link but even if you don't sometimes they still hack you so I think I've almost fallen victim to it but I always like change my password so it's been all right. Scammers aren't always just after your money, sometimes they're after your information. What that can enable them to do is pretend to be you, and then they might go and make applications for credit in your name, they might commit fraud in your name. Personally, I don't find many scams convincing things, they all like have a look to them. Links that have been shortened using different like um, Bitly, etc. I think that's an immediate red, scare, a red flag. Giving free things out, like you'll get a free car if you log into this, Immediate red yeah. bag, yeah. Anything that says you've been randomly selected as a winner, <laughs> some things are too good to be true. Yeah. We've seen a couple of new scams emerge recently around popular major events. So just in the last few days, we've seen scams emerge selling fake tickets to, to Matilda's games, even fake streaming services, because that's exactly what scammers do. They tap in to what's going on at the moment, what people might be worried about, and they seek to exploit it. People think they're too like smart or like, you know what I mean? It wouldn't happen to me, but you know, it just takes one slip up and then, there you go, you've been evicted. So we ask people to remember three key words. Stop, think and protect. Stop before you give the personal information and then think, do I really know who I'm dealing with? And finally, protect. If something does feel wrong, 
report the matter to your financial institution as soon as possible and report the matter to Scanwatch. If you get one of those messages, just report them so they don't come again. Don't click on links ever. <laughs> and yeah, just don't do what people will tell you to do if you're getting like messages and stuff, that'd be it. Bank account details, like security numbers, addresses, anything, anything else that you kind of know straight away. If it is convincing, don't be scared to run it by your mates or your friends or your parents at the end of the day. If it, if it evades you, it's unlikely to evade multiple people's opinions.